Hey everybody, it's D Wally from Fast Cars and More. Posted a picture earlier today on Facebook of my yard and I got a lot of responses, more responses than I was anticipating. Had a lot of people ask how to get my grass so thick and green. So I said, why not do a video and post what I do to my grass? So I put a fertilizer down every quarter. Usually it's um, spring, summer, fall and winter. And I use, you know, the Scotch. Um, and they also have an app where you can download it to your phone and it'll tell you uh, when to put your stuff down. You can see how I got some, how thick it is. Every winter, I have my lawn guy mow my yard. Um, the grass pretty low. I rake up all the dead grass, get all that stuff up. And then I um, have some aerator shoes that I step over the yard with. And that is a process, but it's worth it, as you can see, so the yard can breathe. So I step over the whole yard with aerator shoes put some fertilizer down and then I overseed it. Um, I think this year I use um, Bermuda grass seeds. I have used tall for Sioux grass. Um, and there's one more not, um, that I saw this year that I used. It was a mix between commercial and residential and I believe it was a Scotch. This was a Scotch but it was a mix <coughs> between um, commercial and residential. And I'll walk to the back here because the backyard, this is probably the first time in a long time that I've got the grass this green in my backyard and thick and tall. But anyway, um, so right now in the springtime, we're getting so much rain, I don't even have to water it. I just... Uh, I um, put the lock on already. Have to go through the house. But anyway, um, now in the summertime, when we stop getting as much rain, I'll turn the sprinkler system on and I'll do about four minutes um, a day. And that's usually enough. I will also put some of that Max Green down, the Scotch Max Green. I usually put some of that down um, mid summer or early summer, I guess you should say, because I usually do it around July mid-July before it really get hot in August out here in Texas. Um, and that'll keep it pretty green. I mean, it, it won't be as green, but it'll stay pretty green for the most part, especially if I keep it thick. Uh, so I'm gonna stop the video. I'm gonna walk to the backyard real quick and show y'all my backyard. All right, so now I'm in the backyard. And as you can see, Got a whole bunch of stuff back here. So it is my backyard. But as you can see, nice, thick, green grass back here. Um, and this is the first time in a long time that I've gotten the grass this thick here in the backyard. And one of the things that really helped last year, I had this tree trimmed and they kind of gutted the inside out so more sunlight could get through. And I really think that helped um, because I can tell a huge difference I'm in my grass this year uh, since I did that. So I'll go over again. Basically, all I do, fertilize it every quarter, spring, summer, winter slash fall, and winter. Also, um, in the winter time, I have my lung guys cut it real low. I rake up all the dead grass, all the thatch, all that stuff, get it up, aerate it with my shoes that I have, and then fertilize it. And I, and I actually think I fertilize it twice after winter. I'll, I'll do it in the winter, then um, when it starts getting closer to spring, I'll put one coat, um, coat on, and then maybe like a month later, I'll put another coat on. Um, just because of, you know, the, we had a harsh winter this year. It kept all the weeds out. Um, I, I didn't have any weed problems this year. So it actually, it, it definitely helped. And um, so I will um, aerate it, overseed it, and just make sure you put some water on it. If it's raining, I didn't even, like I said, I don't even have a 
my sprinkler system on yet, but when it stopped raining, I'll turn it on and run it for about four minutes a day, Monday through Sunday. And uh, that's it. So hope y'all enjoy, hope it helps. And have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to answer them.